What is going on guys, today I'm back with another video and we'll be going over the best ways to find netherite. So jumping right into it, we want to start at y equals 15 or 14. This is going to be the best level to find netherite in the nether. And the first and simplest method that we can use is strip mining. So we can just mine a two tall tunnel and leave two blocks in between and mine the next tunnel. The reason we leave a gap is because if netherite spawns here, then we'll catch it in this tunnel. And if netherite spawns here, we'll catch it inside this tunnel. So we could just mine through here until we reach some ancient debris. And we need a diamond pickaxe to mine this. So iron won't work. But if you get enough ancient debris to make a netherite pickaxe, then you can also use netherite pickaxes to mine ancient debris. So right here, we have some more ancient debris. And they will always spawn in veins of 1 to 3. So if you find 3 in a row, then you'll know that you won't expect any more. But if you just find one, then you can look around to see if there are any more next to it. One thing to note is that we should not get fortune on our pickaxe. That's because ancient debris will never drop duplicates. So right here, we have a fortune 3 diamond pickaxe. And if we mine this ancient debris block, we'll only get one. So this is very different from mining gold or mining diamonds where you will get duplicates. You don't want to use fortune on ancient debris. But if you want to make the mining process faster, you can always use efficiency on your pickaxe. But the best method by far to mine for ancient debris is going to be using beds. So we're going to just place a bed over here at y equals 14, and we're going to explode it. But before we do that, we want to make sure we have a block between us and the bed. Because if we don't have this block, and we break the bed, we're going to take a lot of damage. Let's try that again, but this time we're going to put a block of cobble between us and the bed. And if we break the bed now, as you can see, we take no damage and it still clears just as well. So cobble is a great block because you can use it to block the bed explosion and you can use it to bridge over these gaps. Also, you don't have to worry about beds breaking ancient debris because they are immune to all explosions, including TNT and end crystals. So right here, we just blow up all the blocks around the ancient debris but the ancient debris themselves are intact. So now the question becomes, how do we actually turn ancient debris into netherite? Well, we first need to smelt the ancient debris into netherite scrap, and we can do this with a furnace and just put in some coal as fuel. Then after you get your netherite scrap, we're gonna craft them with gold to make our netherite ingots. So we're going to wanna split our stack of netherite scrap into a few different slots so that it can be used for crafting. And then we're just going to put the netherite scraps and gold ingots in this fashion. So four netherite scrap and then four gold ingots. And we're going to get our netherite ingot just like that. So once we get this, we're going to need a smithing table. And now we can combine a diamond item with the netherite ingot to make the netherite item. However, it's important to note that you can't do this in a crafting table. So if we get ourselves a brand new diamond item, and if we try to combine it with a netherite ingot in the crafting table, as you can see, nothing happens. So it's very important that we need a smithing table, a crafting table, and a furnace for this entire process. But anyway, that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.